Okay, before we go into part two of the uh, project creation, um, I just want to mention real quick. Now, obviously, um, you want to have uh, your site monetized um, in, in whatever way that you want to monetize it. Now, um, an article like this, if I'm driving traffic to this article, um, I'm either going to, I'm going to monetize this article, but it's either going to be a, um, it's going to have a product review on it. Um, or something like that but um, this is a good article um, that I want to get people coming to my site to read and hoping that they will click on one of the contextual links that um, I would set up within the article or click on another part of my site that may have product reviews or something like that but you obviously want to have it monetized when you start sending traffic to it in some way Okay, so we're down at website title, and obviously we're uh, uh, promoting a partic a post. So um, our website title is actually going to be um, our article title. Make sure your article title has your main keyword in it. Okay, so um, the article title, which has my main keyword, and which is also my anchor text. Category. What we're going to do now is click on edit. When you click on edit, it's going to come up with a category creator. Okay, um, you don't need to, the root is called the root category, but you don't really don't need to worry about that. So what we're going to do is click on suggested. And it will choose, or uh, give you a bunch of categories to choose from. So you would just choose a category that best fits what your site is or post is about. So I'm just gonna choose uh, in home and family. Let's just say um, we're gonna go with uh, home improvement now you can add more than one uh, category if you like now you first have to select it so and I forgot to do that make sure you check the box click OK all right now you, like I said you can add um, more categories if you like we're gonna click OK our description so we need to add the description um, and keep in mind that uh, 250 characters. So what we're going to do um, is go to our site and we're just going to grab this first paragraph here. Now, here's the important part. You want to make sure and spin this, okay? Um, so you're not sending the same exact paragraph out to the site. So um, if you don't have a spinning option, if you don't have spin rewriter, if you don't have any uh, paid spinner, um, you can use a website. It's called Best Free Spinner okay so um, and this does a great job so what you would do is we would take that um, description and paste it in here it's not the right one okay once you paste your content in um, you can choose a spin frequency so you can change or or, or uh, you know however many so usually I either spin all words or spin um, every third word something like that so we're gonna click spin and it's going to give you this spin tax okay you want to make sure that um, with the free spinner it don't allow you to protect keywords so you want to make sure um, your uh, main keyword does not get spun so we'll, what we'll do is take that out okay so here is our keyword main keyword interior design furniture you can see that it's spun furniture so what we're going to do is take that out we don't want to spin that so Okay, that way it don't spin that word. And then we're going to copy this. We're going to select all and just copy it. Go back to our software and paste it in. Okay, so we have our uh, website title or article title, category, and description. Okay, now we're going to go down to login, password. Now you don't need to do anything with these, okay? You can just leave it to uh, let the software randomize these. Don't worry about that. It will take care of it. Your about uh, me text. It um, has about me text in here already and it's pretty good. So if you just want to use it, um, you can use what's here. Okay, profile image is already taken care of for you. Um, Twitter URL, Facebook URL, um, it's good to put those in. If you don't have them, you can leave it blank. But obviously if you have them, you want to put them in. Form comment. Uh, again, it puts a default comment here for you. It does a great job. Um, you can always put your own if you like. 
Um, usually I just use what's here. Okay, notice the description here is 450, so we need to go back and get some more text. Now keep in mind, um, for these descriptions in the software, you can use your article that you're promoting. Okay, use the text in this article. I mean, you can even use another article if you like. Um, usually I use the text within the article that I am uh, promoting. Because um, it will always, I always make sure that it's a, a unique quality article. So I'm going to grab a little bit more text, go back over to my spinner. And I'm going to paste it over that. And click spin. Okay, again, I got to go back and take out um, the spin text for my keyword. Okay, so I'm going to select all of this. Remember, you're selecting the uh, spin tax keyword, your, or the spin tax um, from your uh, article. Okay, we're going to paste this into our description. If your description is too short or too long, usually it'll let you know in red. Okay. Now we're down to another blog comment. We can leave that um, what it is, or at default. Um, we can leave the form nick and our nickname and form password blank. It will uh, randomize those for you. Um, it has a subject for you, um, a signature for you. Okay. Now what we're going to do here, if you um, are promoting a site that's in German, obviously you can use um, this area, okay, website title um, in German. If you are not promoting a site that's in German, you can, um, up here where it says website title, you can right click and then click on disable engines that use this, okay. Now the next one's Polish, I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to disable those. Obviously, um, if you're using Polish uh, content on your site, you, you can use them. Okay, now you want to go back over, and what you can do here is click on Test. And what that'll do is bring up a preview of what's going to happen. Give you your URLs, your um, all your keywords, that it uh, give you everything here. And you can take a look at it, and just click OK or Save. Okay, that is the data. Now you have your data ready, and remember we're going to be submitting through article, blog comment, directory, form, um, indexer, RSS, social, uh, bookmark, network, um, web 2.0, and wiki. I recommend doing video if you have a video. Now let's say that you um, plan on using the same settings that you put in here um, on other projects. Or maybe you're just going to change a couple of things, but most everything that you would you would like to use on another project or in other projects. What you can do is come down to Tools, and what you what will happen is you'll export um, this data, okay, as a template, okay, which you can import back. So you can go to Tools, and then Export, and then click Data Fields, and it will export this for you. So basically I just create a folder called templates or GSA templates and then I just name this template. So I may name this uh, interior design uh, template or interior design uh, furniture template. Okay, and then you can just save that and if you want to use it again on another project you can. Okay, our next tab is article manager. Now the article manager is obviously where you're going to be putting articles in that will be submitted to the, the uh, um, platforms that have article submission. Now this is a, a part where having a service like Article Builder um, or, or something of those, along those lines to help you um, get the articles quickly. So whatever you have or whatever software you have or however you get the articles, that's what you're going to be putting in here. I use Article Builder. Um, I really like it. It does a, it does a great job. Um, I have other software too, um, but for um, GSA. Um, I'm, I'm just going to use Article Builder here, and what we're going to do is click on Add. Okay, now you can see you have many options. You can enter the articles manually. Okay, you can do a search. You can do a search for articles. Okay, you can import them. Um, I'm going to use Article Builder, but you have big content, Content Machine. It's a software. You 
can use PLR articles, um, different, all kinds of different stuff. I'm going to choose Article Builder. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add 10 articles here. And you can see that uh, using Article Builder automatically puts everything in spin text. Okay, so once you have your articles in, we're going to go down to the next part where it says how to link. I, I usually have sentence at the bottom. Um, that's what I usually do. Okay, I also check this box to put a top anchor um, URL about 20% of the time. Okay. Okay, the second second option is insert links from another project. So if you have created another project um, and you have links from that project that you would like to put into this project, which creates your tier link building, um, that's what it's talking about. That's what this is. Okay, so since it's my first project for this particular um, website, I'm not going to check that. Your next option is insert up to uh, one or two random URLs from random keywords. And basically what this is is putting um, authority sites um, linked to um, other keywords. So it's always a good idea to when you're um, submitting content to go ahead and add um, uh, authority site links within it and that's what it's talking about so if you click edit you'll see a notepad they have a notepad with all kinds of different things so um, you can just usually keep that there so I'll go ahead and check that okay the next is insert uh, images okay so I'm just going to um, check those you can choose um, how many you want to add images and videos if you have a long article, you can um, shorten the article. Okay, otherwise you don't have to check that. Now, I don't. I go ahead and leave this checked. I don't want to submit an article to more than one site or one time uh, per account. Okay, so now we have the article manager set. Now, in the next video, we will move on to options, which is um, where uh, most of the uh, important um, settings are located at. So, we'll see you in the next video.